Det är en stor ära att få presentera Nobelpristagaren i fysiologi eller medicin. It is a great honor to introduce the Nobel laureate in physiology or medicine, Professor John O'Keefe. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, Your Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen. On behalf of my colleagues, May Britt and Edward Moser, and myself, I would like to express our gratitude to the Nobel Foundation for hosting this magnificent banquet. The venue is absolutely magnificent. The food is, as we would say, where I come from, scrumptious. <laughs> and I think the idea of organizing the dessert in that wonderful pattern of six little desserts in the form of a hexagonal, symmetrical hexagonal array, so reminiscent of the grid cells discovered by the Mosers, is nothing short of culinary genius. <laughs> <coughs> I would also like to express our gratitude to the Nobel Committee and Assembly for deeming our research worthy of this distinguished accolade. I think it's fair to say that the Nobel Prize is the highest honor any scientist or artist can achieve. We are both pleased and delighted. Of course, we see the awards as a recognition not only of ourselves and our own accomplishments, but also of our collaborators in the study of the spatial functions of the hippocampus and our colleagues in the wider field of cognitive and behavioral neuroscience. It's really been a great area to work in, and it's been very nice to have all these people as our friends. Cognitive neuroscience is entering an exciting era in which new technologies and ideas are making it possible to study the neural basis of cognition, perception, memory, and emotion at the level of networks of interacting neurons the level at which we believe many of the important operations of the brain actually take place. We already know a considerable amount about how individual neurons work and how two cells communicate with each other. But the way in which entire networks of thousands of neurons cooperate, interact with each other, and are orchestrated to create our ideas and concepts is an underexplored area. It is probably also at this level and the failure at this level that many uh, of the most disturbing and intractable diseases of the mind and brain take place. This new era of neuroscience has been made possible by the development of new optical, computer-based electronic and molecular biology tools that are being brought into neuroscience from, from other areas such as physics and chemistry. And these will allow us to monitor the activity of many thousands of cells simultaneously and to manipulate their activity. So we will move from looking at correlations between brain activity and behavior to studying how the brain actually causes mental states and behavior. It is fitting, therefore, that our fellow laureates this year in physics and chemistry are world leaders in providing us with some of these tools um, and I would like to salute them. Uh, and and our, actually, we're quite eager to, to, uh, eagerly looking forward to beginning to use some of their laser-based optical techniques. We're also pleased to be receiving the, the prizes um, with laureates from so many different countries. I think in this era of growing xenophobia, it's important to remember that science is the quintessential international endeavor. And the sterling reputation of the Nobel Awards is partly due to the widely perceived lack of bias on the national or uh, other bias level uh, in the selection of the laureates. Um, I think as scientists, we believe that the future great contributions to our understanding of the physical and the biological world can come from citizens of any country um, in any part of the world. 
So it is to the credit of the Nobel committees that they have steadfastly endeavored to follow Alfred Nobel's wishes that the prizes recognize contributions to the welfare of humanity regardless of color, of, of, of country of origin, gender, race, or religious affiliation. So in conclusion, I want to end by recognizing and thanking our many collaborators and colleagues, and they're obviously too numerous to mention in this short speech, to our universities, UCL and NTNU, and our generous funders, uh, several of whom are, are actually here and have taken the time to come and, and uh, celebrate this occasion with us. So thank you for your occasion. Talk. <laughs>